majestic church of the Assumption Heart of Jesus, which was built at the order of the Jesuit order. A real pearl of architecture, dream of velvet and gold, the Royal Theatre, Old City Hall, Ship House, beautiful old stone houses in different architectural styles, colorful courtyards, narrow streets paved with paving stones, cozy cafes on every corner, the smell of coffee, street musicians. We've already seen all this in Chernivtsi, but there are some unique places in this city which we definitely want to visit. One of the most beautiful buildings in Europe is Chernivtsi National University, the former residence of the Metropolitans. There is also the old city park, which impresses with its beauty and interest in history. Let's visit some local blacksmiths who presented the city with unique forged sculptures and hear the play of a virtuoso musician who performs in various countries of the world. Today, we will continue our acquaintance with Chernivtsi. I like the atmosphere in Chernivtsi, its rhythm. The city is so calm. People say that Chernivtsi is a vain city. Maybe it is so. In fact, we don't hurry. We know how to enjoy life. First, you will not see architecture like this anywhere. There is similar architecture in Lviv and Odessa, but there is nothing like the architecture here in Chernivtsi. All these sites in the city center, on its outskirts, everything you see has been preserved. It was all built in the days of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. If there was nothing in Chernivtsi except for the building of the National University, it would still be worth visiting. This magnificent structure can be seen from afar. It looks like an old castle. The residents of the metropolitans of Bukovina and Dalmatia deserves special attention from all architectural lovers and not only, because there are very few such perfect architectural ensembles in the country. Its uniqueness is confirmed by the fact that it is included in the UNESCO World Heritage Register. The immense monumental beauty fascinates at first sight and doesn't leave anyone indifferent. This building is included in the UNESCO World Heritage Register. This building is the former residence of the Metropolitan of Bukovina and Dalmatia. Here you can see the Church of the Three Saints. This unique church wasn't destroyed, but preserved in its original form. The majestic Church of the Three Saints was built in 1878 from brick and it took almost four years to paint the church. Despite the fact that the paintings were done a long time ago, they are in a good condition. The dome murals belong to the Viennese artist Karl Jobst, Christmas, the Resurrection, Pentecost. The painting of the church lasted four years, and the decorative ornament reminds one of Bukovina-style embroidery. Our local Bukovina artist Epaminandas Buchevsky is working on this painting. The church has very good acoustics. Weekly services for all church holidays, weddings and baptisms are conducted here now. A computer center was located here in Soviet times, and the church was not used for its intended purpose, but it wasn't destroyed. We have authentic murals and a genuine iconostasis here. These little ones were from that time. Services resumed in this church in 1991, and all tourists can visit the church, pray and listen to church singing. Examining the paintings on the walls and above the dome, you comprehend the uniqueness of this building. Here every corner deserves attention. Not only is the Church of the Three Saints worth seeing, but you can wander for hours in every building of this architectural pearl. Next to the church is the monastery building, with its beautiful tower. The center of the tower contains a clock and a cross. The color of the brick attracts one's attention, as it has a unique terracotta color. Also, the workers of the museum complex talk about the unique building methods used to build these walls. First of all, each brick was checked for quality. It was dropped from a height of 20 meters. To strengthen the masonry, chicken eggs and other specific products were added to the mortar. Therefore, these buildings are so well preserved because they were built to last centuries. 
A little further away stands the central building of the former Palace of the Metropolitans, which is famous for its luxurious rooms that simply must be seen. This architectural ensemble was built by the Czech architect Josef Hlavka. The residence of an Orthodox metropolitan was located here. Its construction lasted 18 years, from 1864 to 1882. The residence of the metropolitans was in this very building. Take a look at these beautiful authentic suites. The architect chose this eclectic style, a sort of Moorish Byzantine style. Inside, one can see a unique combination of Bukovinian motifs with the pomp of Chinese silk, Venetian mirrors and colored marble. Each hall of this building is exquisite. Synodal Hall is decorated with marble of different shades. Red, in which the red Chinese silk on the walls is harmoniously combined with the elegant carving of the ceiling and expensive parquet. The Metropolitan Library was in the Blue Hall at one time. The decoration in these halls and of the entire residence of the Metropolitan was attended by famous Austrian, Czech and Bukovinian masters and artists. In addition to the beautiful buildings, the unique arboretum with various botanical wonders and decorative elements deserves special attention. The residence of the Metropolitan is today's university and is the calling card of not just Chernivtsi, but the whole of Ukraine. The tourists who come here live absolutely delighted. Come and visit our city. The park is the pride of Chernivtsi. It was founded by the city's chief engineer Adolf Marin in 1830. The entire cultural life of Chernivtsi revolved around the park. At the beginning of the 19th century, this park was called the Fall Garden. It was designed and equipped at the initiative of landscape gardeners Anton Piotrowski and Karl Bauer. There were cycling lanes, a pond, a swimming pool, park benches. Since then, the park has become the city's calling card and the favorite leisure spot of the residents of Chernivtsi. There were dances here. The 31st Infantry Regiment played in this park, in which Yuri Fetkovich served. With the sounds of the military orchestra, gentlemen came here to dance. There was an ice skating rink here in winter. Every citizen could go and take a walk in the National Park of Chernivtsi. Olha Kobylanska once said, In this park I revel in the air and kiss the silence of this park. A park like this is a source of pride for any city. Now is Shevchenko Central Park of Culture and Leisure. It's located in the central part of the city of Chernivtsi and is a protected area. On the park's territory, which spans more than 16 hectares, there are many historical monuments and architectural ensembles. Everything is harmoniously combined. Together with ancient sculptures and fountains, modern forged works of art have appeared, which give this area a peculiar charm. The creators of these sculptures are also residents of Chernivtsi, who are in love with their city. We had a unique opportunity to meet these talented people, so we present the forge, or rather, the creative workshop of Chernivtsi masters of broad art. This is where the work begins, the transfer of their thoughts onto paper. Specific works which we bring to life appear from ideas like these. 
In the workshop, the blacksmith friends have become a professional team for many years of working together. If you do the same thing all the time from morning till night, the skills will definitely appear themselves. If you really like doing something, you are acquiring the skills you need. Blacksmiths presented many of their sculptures to their native city. Their works decorate various parts of Chernivtsi, and tourists take pictures in their vicinity. I was born in this city. I really like Chernivtsi. It has a zest. The Moldovans, the Romanians, the Jews live here. You see and understand who you're chatting with. It's worth taking a walk around this old city. And I advise you to come back again for the socializing. Welcome to Chernivtsi. There are many places to visit. Listening to the mastery play of this maestro, people don't realize that this isn't just an ordinary musician. People dream of listening to Mikola Hockman play. The maestro is famous beyond Ukraine as he performs together with the Ply music group in different parts of the world. He's proud of his talented musicians and returns every time to his native land with impatience. This is a city where every other resident is a musician or just a person of art. It's all about the atmosphere here. I was born here, I studied here, it's my land. We always invite people and we'll be glad to see all guests who come to our city. I invite you to Chernivtsi not only to get acquainted with this city, I invite you to come to us more often, plan to take a vacation here if it's possible. By the way, domestic tourism is becoming more popular. People understand that it's not necessary to go far and discover new countries. It's better to open your native Ukraine. Well, I advise you to start with Chernivtsi. Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities for yourselves and let the whole world know about them. May every trip be unforgettable. <laughs>